Hey, I'm staying here. Yeah, okay, good, wondering. good. Sorry. 633 right now. It's a huge day for many young athletes, as Dan was just mentioning, taking their skills to the next level. Ramsey Wharton's in Waikiki, where some big names, they're expected to commit to play to Hawaii, play here in Hawaii for the Warriors. Ramsey. Good morning, everyone. That's right. A lot of excitement because several of our players are signing with some uh, big teams. We're very excited, including one of them headed to Stanford. We're talking about brains and bronze. Luke Kamatule, good morning. Oh, good morning. Thank you for Thank you for everything. Oh, of course. Six, seven, my friend. I'm like trying not to break my neck this morning. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling great. Great experience to be out here with all the other athletes just to sign to a college and uh, getting ready for the next four to five years of my life. It's a lot of pressure, isn't it, uh, that's built up to this. You guys have been not only focused on your athletics, but uh, your grades, and especially going off to a school like Stanford. Uh, and then, you know, like you mentioned, showing respect to all the other teams that were looking at bringing you on. Yeah. So um, I just thank everybody, all those coaches that were trying to give me an opportunity. And um, I'm just going to make that decision that's going to benefit me for the, for the rest of my life. Absolutely. Well, we wish you really a lot of success. Defensive end uh, out of Punahou, and you have a buddy headed uh, that way too. Yeah, DeForest Buckner. He's uh, the other end on my on my team. Uh, he's committed to Oregon right now, and uh, I think that's where he's planning to sign today. Fantastic. Well, let's talk to Dad because uh, so Akai, you've been watching your son through all these years playing ball. Was this one of the, the main things that you were hoping for to get him into that school? I mean, let alone uh, as prestigious uh, university as Stanford and to prof professional play, perhaps. Right. Yeah, the dreams just came through. I mean, we worked hard. Well, he worked hard since he was eight years old coming up. And it's probably one of my proudest moments as a father. <laughs> the emotions are just kicking in. So we're happy. <laughs> You've been, what, taking for practice? How many games a week? Practice after practice? Give me oh, yeah, an idea daily. of what it's like to be a football dad. I mean, three games a day, you know, every single day since they were young. He's got brothers too, brothers and sisters. And it was hard work and then um, I'm just glad it came to this moment where it paid off. And let's talk about the university itself. Uh, this is one of the most elite schools uh, in the country. Oh yeah, we, we went there for junior day and then uh, felt that that was the right fit for him uh, with the great coaches and staff that they have and the education is uh, by far one of the best things that we could ever hope for and we're just so happy that Luke got it. <laughs> Absolutely well thank you for sharing your story with us. Any idea you know most kids uh, don't have a clue what sort of area they're looking for in academics any particular focus um, for your education? I'm really interested in engineering right now probably follow the footsteps of my cousin Matthew Masfilo who's a graduate from Campbell High School and he's actually going to graduate from Stanford this year with a mechanical engineering degree. Wow, well you got family it sounds like out there as well. Thank you again. Congratulations Luke. So again, it's a it's a huge day for of course the University of Hawaii locally who will be pulling some uh, some kids their way. A big coup for Coach Chow, turning some decisions uh, to the university, but for all of these schools, it's big business for those schools and the communities that serve them. So very important too as many of our Hawaii kids sign those letters of intent today. We'll have more coverage coming up. Back to you guys. That is one big kid. Congratulations. By the way, we're also going to be hearing from Coach Chow a little bit later as he assesses his first recruiting class. And despite what was previously reported, Taylor Taliulu is going to Washington State, not UH. Just wanted to clear that up this morning. All right. Uh, coming up uh, or coming off a big win in Florida, Mitt Romney says his campaign is squarely focused on middle income Americans rather than those at either end of the spectrum.